what's up what's up what's up everybody it's your boy crazy cheshire welcome back today we're going to be cheesing electo once again and the only reason i'm making this video because my other one is quite old and people might be thinking that it has been patched it has not been patched it's still operational and i received a lot of questions on how do you even get here well unfortunately you would have to do runny's quest line about 99 percent of it so you can actually get here but whenever you finally get here you're going to be able to do this cheese to electo which he will be located right here but what do we need for this cheese to work well to be honest you could just beat him with a shield and that's it but that would take quite a bit of time so Keep that in mind if you're just going to beat him with a shield. Another thing, you would want a shield with 100% physical negation. Luckily for us, there are plenty of shields that have that. A lot of shields that have that. Or at least have as much physical negation as possible. That way, your stamina is going to be damaged more than your health bar. So, that that's a thing. But... Another safety precaution that I took, you could use a rapier, and luckily for us, there's plenty of those as well that you could get, and or a spear. Rapier or a spear. You could use them with the shield because you would be able to uh, guard and still be able to poke at your enemy, and if your enemy would retaliate, they would hit your shield and not you just another safety precaution but i will be just using a shield and a fire incantation because i figured out a couple of things while i was messing around with him so poison does not work on him bleed does not work on him and scarlet rot that does not work on him as well however frost works on him and if you don't know when you apply frost to an enemy it's like a debuff now they're going to be taking more damage but if you apply fire after you applied frost it will remove that debuff so we can take advantage of that it's not necessary but if you have the ability to do so to let's say put a frost on your weapon or on your shield i already have it on my shield so I'm going to go to, let's say, Ash of War and put it on my uh, weapon. Put it as a call of affinity, that way cause frost buildup. That way my rapier can do that, same thing with my shield, but that lowers uh, the physical negation if you do the call of affinity, unfortunately. It is what it is, but I'm just going to use the shield and pretty much uh, my seal to do this and i'm gonna demonstrate all of this of course my seal is upgraded but the rest of the weapons and shield is not upgraded this is a uh playthrough 15 so bosses have way more health and they hit quite hard as well but it literally doesn't matter like this this is gonna be really easy for you to do really simple as well it's nothing hard all you need is pretty much shield if you want to because you can just beat this boss with your shield to death i've done it <laughs> i've done it just for a hell of it i did that but details let me demonstrate what i'm talking about so we're gonna go right here of course you're gonna spawn in and the boss will be right in front of you actually that's where the boss will spawn in, but we're gonna take a left in this direction, kind of like to the left side of these bushes right here. We're gonna run over here to this place. This is where we're gonna be luring Electo. Electo? Anybody home? Come this way. I'm gonna guard and pretty much jump around him and force him in there. Smack him with the shield pretty much to force him in this small cubby hole. Since I have frost already on this shield i can just use the shield to apply a frost which let me demonstrate i'm not dealing a lot of damage as you can see barely anything there we go i applied frost so now i would switch to my seal pop him with this and back to my shield force him in here 
and we just did a big chunk of damage just because of the frost buildup. There we go, another chunk of damage, and I'm dealing like horrible damage per hit 22, and that's already with the frost buildup, so that's already more than I should be dealing. Get back in there. Let's see, 18. 18, that's how much damage I'm dealing with the shield right now on a playthrough 15, of course. So, not a surprise that I'm dealing very small amount of damage to him with, with the shield that's not even upgraded. But the biggest portion here is to apply that frost and then to just use fire to remove it. I thought that would be a useful thing, you know, small little information tip, the things that work and don't work. And now you're going to just be able to get him in here and just completely destroy him. This, this is about it, guys. This is the cheese. You're grounded. You stand in this corner. You're not going anywhere. And you don't really need to have this on your shield. You could have just a weapon of your choice with ice and the other weapon with fire. Or you could use incantations or maybe certain sorceries to deal pretty much to result in the same actions, more or less. Like, it's not tied to one thing, like, you can just put this on a so on this weapon or on this shield. No, there's sorceries, uh, there's a variety of things that you can use to pretty much achieve the same results. It's not tied to one thing, just letting you guys know. There is plenty of ways how you can go about this. I just decided to go with the shield and just some fire incantation because it it also looks pretty hilarious to, to just beat the hell out of this guy with the shield let's be real hey if this was helpful or informative don't forget to leave a like maybe subscribe to the channel that's literally up to you but for now i'm out of here peace